If you're like me, you check your email every single day. You might even have multiple accounts you check. Maybe you have a personal email account, a work email account, a spam email account, or something else. Previously, you had to log into each service and check them individually. With the new Mail app, you can check your email from all accounts in just one place. To get started, tap on the Mail app. If you have a Microsoft account already tied to your logon, you'll already see some email in here. If you'd like to add another account, access the Charms menu, which you can do by moving your mouse to the top right corner, or if you're on a touch screen, starting from the right edge and swiping to the left. Now click on Settings, Accounts, then Add an Account. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to add a Google account, but you can choose whichever one you'd like. And if you would like to add your contacts and calendars, click the checkbox, then click connect. And now you'll see all the email from your Google account. If I'd like to switch back to my live account, I can do it down here by just clicking. And on the left hand side here, you'll see the folders for each email account you have. In the middle column, you'll see all the emails that you have with the subject line and who it's from, as well as the time that it's sent. And on the right hand side, you'll have each individual mail item. If you'd like to send an email, you can click on this icon here. If you want to reply to the email that you're looking at, you can click on this icon. And if you'd like to delete a message, you can click here. Let's go ahead and create a new message by clicking here. And I'm going to go ahead and send this to myself. You'll see that as I type my name, it auto-populates from contacts that I have saved on my computer. But I'm going to go ahead and type in my email address. If I want to add a carbon copy, I can do so here. If I want to add a BCC, I can click on Show More and add that here. I'm going to go ahead and add my subject line and click here to add my message. If I want to add an attachment, I can just right click in the message area or if I'm on a touch screen, start from the top edge and swipe down and I'll see the context menu here. Go ahead and click on Attachments. And you'll see that it defaults to your Pictures folder. If I want to upload an attachment from another folder, I can click on this down arrow here and choose where I would like to upload my attachment from. I'm going to go ahead and upload these two photos here. Click Attach. And you'll see that they're added to the email. Now if I want to change the text that I have here to add a little emphasis, I can go ahead and highlight what I want to change. And you'll see at the bottom I have the option to bold, italicize, or anything else I'd like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and bold. And now to send the message, I'm just going to click send. Now if I'd like to change the settings for my accounts, I'm going to access the charms menu click on Settings, Accounts, and then click on the email account that I'd like to change the settings for. And from within here I can choose what I'd like to sync, change any other settings I would like, and remove the account if I'd like to. That covers everything from the Mail app. Hopefully you see that the Mail app can be a quick and easy way to check your email from all your email accounts in just one screen.